Hey everyone, and welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, we're documenting our journey of learning to sail and living on our beautiful catamaran. We've had quite the week, filled with excitement, a few mishaps, and a lot of learning. So grab a cup of coffee if you can, unlike us on Saturday morning, and join us for this week's adventure. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you never miss a moment of our journey. Friday was supposed to be a chilled day. We did some grocery shopping, cooked a nice dinner, and settled down to watch TV. Suddenly we heard a pop, then hissing. A huge cloud of gas started escaping from our gas locker. My boyfriend ran outside to check and found out that the fitting had come apart. Gas was freely flowing out of the tank. Thankfully, this is why boats have their gas lockers outside. But it was still a scary moment. We decided it was probably best to wait until daylight to try and fix it. it does mean that we had no coffee the next morning, but hey, it could have been a lot worse if there had been an open flame. The next morning, we reached out to our amazing cruising community. Is this something that we could fix or did we need to find a professional? They gave us a solid action plan, and my boyfriend went shopping for parts. At the same time, we decided to simplify the system, so we just had one pipe. Less complicated and fewer points of failure. We did end the day with some rain, which was actually quite nice and relaxing, until it started pouring at 3am and we had to do the usual run around the boat, closing all the vents. Sunday brought its own challenge. When will we catch a break? Our water pump started making some weird noises when we were running the tap. The gauges said we had plenty of water, but when we actually opened up the tanks to have a look, they were empty. Now we already know we need water to make water, but luckily we had collected the rainwater. So we filtered it, added it to our tanks, it wasn't drinking water, so this was enough to get our system going. Crisis averted, let's make more water. Monday was all about organising. We sorted out cupboards and put everything in storage. We needed to clear the decks because, big news, Tuesday is our first sailing lesson. This morning we met our captain, Mike, who gave us some great advice on setting up the boat, and spent a few hours checking that everything was safe before we started our lesson. The first thing we wanted to practice was releasing and then picking up and reattaching to the mooring ball. We wanted to be able to do this just in case there was an emergency. He then wanted us to practice maneuvering just using the engines. A catamaran drives a bit like a tank, so to turn into a circle, one engine goes forward, the other one goes back, and you rotate. He had us doing figure eights around two mooring balls in between all of the other boats, which made me very nervous, and apparently also some of our neighbours. We then headed out to open water and put up the sails, something I wasn't expecting to do on our first lesson, but it was amazing. We learned how to tack, read the wind, and even hit 5.2 knots for about a second. Luna had a bit of a potty time issue, but she settled down once we were on course. By the end of the day, we were exhausted, but so much more confident. Wednesday was cleaning day, again. How can the hull get so dirty in just over a week? We suited up and jumped in, it's tough work, but we got a system going and we managed a full clean of all four sides. We're planning to make this a weekly task to avoid the huge cleanups in the future. Thursday was an eerily calm day. We're used to having wind, but today, nothing. This evening, we sat on the front deck, introducing Luna to more of the boat than what she has explored. We did have a bit of a scare when two boats that were anchored near to us bumped into each other. But everything turned out fine. This is just the strange movements that boats make when there's no 
wind. Wow, what a week. Our adventure almost ended before it began, but thankfully everything turned out great. Getting out on the water and sailing has definitely been the highlight of boat life so far. We've got so much more to learn, but each day brings us closer to our dream of cruising around the islands, meeting new people and discovering new places. Thanks for joining us on this incredible journey. If you've enjoyed this episode, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon so you never miss an update. See you next time and remember to seize the day.